Hey guys, today in the shop, I take a body off the pan. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so here's the, uh, the Beetle in question. This is a, a customer's car, it's a 62 model. And uh, we're gonna, in another video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some heater channels in this car. So for this one, I'm gonna pull the, the body off the pan. And uh, I've, got a, I've got a little checklist on, on the things you need to do to uh, get the body off. So we'll go over each area where um, you need to remove bolts and, and things like that to take the body off. So uh, let's get started with, uh, with taking this off. Okay, we'll go ahead and start up here in the, uh, in the trunk area. Uh, you would take the gas tank out first, and I've already got the tank out of this one. But it's basically just four of these little plates and bolts that hold it down. Those are uh, 13 millimeter each. And you got four of those. Um, and then once you get the tank out, the next ones would be these two on top of the, the front axle. You gotta take both of those out. Those are 17 millimeter. Then you wanna come over here to your steering rag joint. This right here and disconnect it, it here at this point. And uh, those are 14 millimeter, both the, the bolt and the nut. And the nuts have, uh, those are castle nuts, so they got a, a, a cotter pin in each one of those. But for this one, you only have to pull off two of them. Two, two bolts will, will release that. And then lastly, uh, you want to disconnect your line from the uh, brake fluid reservoir down to your master cylinder. So we'll just, we'll disconnect back here and then close off the, uh, the reservoir so it don't leak. Hey guys, before I get started, I just wanted to show you this. I just noticed it. So this has still got some uh, factory markings uh, from Germany on it. Um, and with this being a 62 model, this was probably built late 61 or early 62. So that's, that's 60 years ago that these markings were put on here. And uh, at the top, that looks like a 1.7. Uh, I was stationed in Germany for three years, and I remember they make their ones like that. So that's a 17. And this looks like MS, maybe the, the factory worker's initials. And then he put a little X underneath it. Pretty cool that that is still there after all these years. Okay, then the next thing up here in the front we need to disconnect is the speedometer cable right here. And we'll just disconnect that at the wheel behind the hubcap and then just pull it out the back. And 
the, this this uh, speedo cable would typically have a, a little C clip on there holding it in the the grease cap, but this one is missing, so I was just able to push it through. Then I'll go on the back and pull it out. All right, just like that, it's out. So here's where that speedo cable connects the little, little square there in the grease cap. Uh, typically, there's a little a little C clip on there that you would just knock off with a screwdriver. But this one didn't have one, so I just pulled the cable out. And then for this brake fluid reservoir, I just take a just a small piece of like fuel line or something and put a either a screw or a bolt in one end with a clamp, and then just just slide that on there to plug that off and then finally up here in the front you disconnect these two wires on your master cylinder to go to your brake lights just like that and now we're I think we're we're done in the front and just a, a quick note on the tank for the later models uh, you would also remove this filler neck before you can get the take the tank out okay now for the engine compartment uh, we basically want to disconnect anything coming off of this harness right here so these wires that go to the coil uh, down here to the oil sending unit we'll pull that one and then the wires over here to the the generator take these off this is a, a 10 millimeter nut So we got those, and then there should be one on the coil right there. And then we can just set those set those aside. One more here on the generator. And then we'll just set that harness off to the side. And then once we got that done, we'll, we'll go down underneath the car and disconnect the, uh, the wire from the starter to the battery. And the last thing back here, it, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and remove this breastplate because uh, once you start lifting the body, that seal right there might catch on it and, you know, hold you up. So take that out. It's just a couple of flat tip uh, screwdriver screws to take that out along with your, your uh, heater hoses. Okay guys, we are now underneath the car and uh, you can see the starter there and let me get my hand up here. We'll disconnect the cable right here. That's a, a 13 millimeter nut and then uh, the, all, all these other two wires here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, pull these, uh, these heat tubes out that go from the, the heat exchanger um, over to the body. So we'll, we'll take those out on both sides. Okay guys, now that we're down here underneath the car, I'll just go ahead and show you the, the pan bolts and you can see, see right here, these are the pan bolts. Uh, there's nine of these on either side of the, of the car and those are 13 millimeter. So we'll take every one of these out. And then up here in the front, there's, uh, there's four of these, there's two on either side of this piece and these are 15 millimeter so we'll take all these bolts out from the bottom and as you can see I got the I got the car on the on the lift arms using the pan so um, it'll be fine taking these bolts out the way it sits
All right, now we're uh, inside the car. Um, this is underneath the would be underneath the back seat. There's uh, four bolts going across here. One, two, and then two on that side. Those are uh, also 13 millimeter, and so we'll go ahead and zip those out. And then lastly, on, on your bolts, uh, back here at the rear of the car, by the, the rear shocks, you've got a bolt here on either side of the car, and uh, those are uh, 17 millimeters. Okay, guys, I think I'm at a point now where I'm ready to take the body off. I've got all the bolts out and all the disconnections I need to make. And uh, now as far as taking it off the, off the pan, there's several ways this can be done. Uh, the most common one is where you get three of your buddies and you just manually pick it up and, and set it off somewhere. Or you can use floor jacks and start on one end, lift it up, put it on some kind of a, a wooden dolly or something like that and, uh, and go that route. Uh, I was hoping I could use my lift, use the forearms on my lift and just pick it up uh, like that, but there's really no lift points on it, especially up here in the front. There's really nowhere to kind of put the arm under there and pick it up without catching the pan. There is one in the back, um, kind of, sort of. You could probably get underneath this piece here. Um, I think you could you could lift it from this point where you, you probably need some sort of a an extension coming off of your your lift arm but like I said there's nothing really in the front so I don't want to chance that so what I was thinking is I'm gonna try this I just picked up these uh, new tie-down straps from Harbor Freight so what I'm gonna do is go through go through here with either one or two straps underneath it both in the front and the back and then connect to my my lift arms and then see if I can just lift it off that way. So we'll give that a try and see how that goes. So here's where I ran the, the, the two straps. As you can see here underneath uh, the arch here in the front. So when I pick it up it'll grab right there. And that, that's the same on either side. And then back here in the back you can see I came in right here over the tire then to make sure I, I clear the transmission and starter and then out the other side and then out here on the the lift arms what I did is I went ahead and took out my my pad for the lift arm so I'd have this hole on all four of them and what I did is just run both straps through that and then I got them away from the car far enough that they won't you know scratch the fender or whatever and then these are these are locked in place so they're not gonna not going to move anywhere. So we're ready to uh, lift it off of there. So let's uh, let's see how it goes.
All right, guys, she's off of the pan. And the, the straps seem to be holding up, holding up pretty good. Um, lifted it up, no problem. I had to pause there for a second when I started. Um, when I started picking it up, the, the rear end seemed like it was stuck for some reason. I couldn't figure it out. And then I realized on the uh, back inside the car, underneath the, the back seat, I showed you the four the four bolts along the pan but then there was two more right here one there and one on the other side and uh i think that's maybe the seat belt bolt but it was holding the uh the body to the pan so i had to take those out and then it came right off so now i'll just uh um either get a some kind of a, a body dolly or couple of wooden horses or something and set the body on it and then uh, go from there. Roll that pan out and start on the next phase. All right. Well, hey guys, if you're about to pull a, a body off a pan, hope this video was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about using the straps. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.